Where does one start with Chenin Blanc? Uh, we can go right back down to the 9th century in France, in Anjou, or we can start with um, Jan van Riebeek bringing, uh, bringing out the first vines and planting them, making the first wine in uh, 1659. But in fact here, the particular bottle we've got at the moment is one that I'm really, really proud of. Uh, they're from grapes that my dad planted uh, at Jordan Wine Estate in 1982. So some of the oldest vines that we've got uh, growing up in Stellenbosch Cliff. And when you look at the variety itself, which uh, you know many have always called in the industry a workhorse variety, for us it's really not that. It's something quite serious. Uh, we do a sort of bit of a Burgundian thing in the way that we make the wine. And to keep that simple and, and uh, understandable, it's, it's really barrel fermented. Uh, we use our Chardonnay barrels. Um, something that's uh, quite dear to us too is the fact that they're really, really concentrated grapes. Um, clones coming from, uh, from France with really small berries, intense concentration, and that you kind of really pick up on the wine. You can see with this new release, the uh, 2011, fantastic color. Uh, it's got that lovely greenish tinge. Um, something that sort of really jumps out of the glass, but is uh, one of the more ageable varieties around. You're missing out on this. <laughs> it's, um, it's really nice that, um, you know, when people have talked about the Cinderella grape, kind of always the bridesmaid, never the bride, it's uh, due to a number of producers that you're going to be seeing over the next, uh, next month or so that um, has really brought Chenin Blanc to the fore and, and made it what it is in South Africa today. Um, not just the workhorse variety, but something that's actually quite special, quite particular, and quite South African. And when you look at the uh, number of hectares planted in France, it was some years ago already that South Africa was double that. And um, incredible when you look at the, um, at the industry itself, um, how Chenin Blanc has evolved and changed. And you know, as a wine producer myself, there was a big danger of pulling out all those wonderful old gnarly vines uh, that our fathers and grandfathers had planted. Uh, and lucky enough with this whole Chenin Blanc revival, people have got uh, interested in Chenin Blanc again, particularly in these styles where they are uh, lightly wooded, um, really serious, intense food wines. I mean, you can imagine this wine here with some sort of um, ravioli, a braised rabbit with broad beans which is what uh, you know, we do out at Jordan or George Jardine's special cold smoked uh, yellowtail. Absolutely delicious with a wine like this. I'm getting it carried away, the wine's so great.